Hi, this is Helena from Open Targets, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the new filtering capabilities on our Associations on the Fly page. Since this is a beta feature, we're particularly interested in hearing your feedback. When I navigate to an Associations page on the Open Targets platform, in this case for Cancer, I now have the option of filtering the list of associated targets using this search bar. This functionality allows you to explore sets of targets based on various structural, functional and cellular characteristics. As you can see, there are over 25,000 targets associated with cancer. Let's say I'm only interested in kinases. I type the Kemble target class kinase into the filter bar and this narrows down the list of associated targets to 471. Note that if I added another Kemble target class as a filter, this would be added as an OR filter. From here, I can add other filters to refine this list even further. Filters from different categories are added as AND filters. For example, I might only want to see results for kinases that are found in the nucleus, so I'll add a subcellular location filter for nucleus. Once that's applied, I now have a list of 184 associated targets. In this example here, I'm looking at a list of targets that meet both my conditions, they are kinases and they are in the nucleus. Here I've shown you how you can filter the list of targets to customize your disease associations view. You could also filter the list of diseases when browsing the target associations view. For more information on this feature, take a look at the Open Targets platform documentation. You can also read up on the other new updates in this release and let us know if there are more features you'd like to see in the platform.